Have you ever wondered on how to solve your messed up cube? Or ever had a wandering thought of only geniuses can solve the Rubik's Cube? Well, there might be a solution to that. Because anyone can solve the Rubik's Cube. And I'm going to show you the easy way, and it will work every way, or any way, the cube is messed up in. So let's get started. The step to solve a messed up cube is to find the yellow side with the center yellow square. And then you're going to find edge pieces with white, like these. Edge pieces are basically pieces with two, only two colors. In this case, we're finding the edge pieces with white as one of them. So we're just going to bring them back to this top layer. And now we have created a daisy. By moving the edge pieces, we have created a daisy, so it will be easier for us to create a white cross. So in order to create this white cross, we're going to have to turn the top layer until the top center square and the middle center square match. And we're going to turn it two times. We're going to do the same to every single side. Now, once you flip your cube upside down, you're going to have a white cross. Now, once you created your white cross, you're going to now solve the whole white side. So you're gonna find corner pieces. The corner pieces are pieces which are on the corner with three colors. We're gonna find the corner pieces with white as one of the colors. So what we're going to do is find corner pieces on the bottom layer first. So this one has blue, orange, and white. So there's blue and orange. You're gonna turn it to the place where there's blue and orange. And then you're going to move away, bring that column down, move to the left, bring that side up, and that's it. Your corner piece is correctly oriented and placed. Let's do another corner. Just follow the same algorithm. Now, if you have a corner piece on the top layer and don't and you don't have any more pieces on the bottom layer, this is what you do. You follow the same algorithm again, except you don't move. So you bring the side down, turn, and the side up. Now the corner piece is on the bottom layer. Just follow the same algorithm again. There's another corner piece that turned up on the top. We're just going to do the same thing as we did before. And that's it. Your white side is done. We're going to move on to the second layer. So how we solve the second layer is pretty easy. We, f we follow the same algorithm, except we find edge pieces like orange and green, we move to orange, so green is on this side. So we move away, bring the side down, turn to the right, bring the side up, turn away, bring the left side down, turn to the left, bring it up, and your edge piece is correctly placed. You're gonna do the same thing to every single side. And now, your edges are solved. Now, if you have a wrong corner piece there, you're just going to solve this layer, or you can just make sure the edge piece is a, bottom, is a yellow one, and follow the algorithm again. And now, you have the wrong piece on there, and now you can solve it easier. And then now for this part, where we try to get the edge piece out, 
it's back here so I can solve it correctly now it's clock algorithm so what you do is turn to the right bring the right side up turn to the left bring the right side down turn to the right rotate that way and now you have an L so if people have an L this is what you do you make sure your L is facing like this like an upside down L even though there's no yellow center we're gonna follow the algorithm again and now you have a line so you have to make sure the line is horizontal and follow the algorithm again and then now at this point you should have a white cross so now once you have the white cross we're gonna try and make big t's so as you can see the there's a orange square which does not match red does not match red so we're gonna have to turn and turn so now it matches red so we're gonna see if any other squares match so for me right now all the T's match now some people cannot have matching T's even if they rotate it a billion times so we just try to match at least one T and then sometimes two T's match up if any of your t's don't match up just start from any side but if you have one t make sure it's on the back if you have two t's one's to the left one's to the right so do this algorithm to match up the t's so you do right side up turn to the left two times right side down turn to the right bring the right side up and turn to the right again and bring the right side down and now you just turn one more time and now your T's are matched. Now what we're going to do is we're almost there to finishing, we're almost there to finishing our cube. So as you can see, the corner pieces don't match with the layers we solved. So we're gonna have to replace them in their correct colors. So as you can see, this one is orange and green. And this one is good is green and red so those are totally jumbled up so we have to solve them so what we do is bring the left side up turn to the left bring the right side up turn to the right bring the left side down turn to the left bring the right side down and now you just look at the corners and it's solved and this is this corner is also solved this is not so the corner you need to solve, make sure it's on the right. Follow the algorithm again. Now, as you can see, all our corner pieces are matched up in their correct colors. So now what we have to do is orient them so the yellow side faces up and the colors are correctly oriented. So with the yellow side facing to your right, you're going to bring your right side up, turn two times to the left, bring the right side down, turn to the right, bring the right side up, turn to the right again and bring the right side down. We're gonna mirror image it again. So instead of right, we're gonna do left now. So left side up, turn two times to the left, bring the left side down, turn to the left, bring the left side up, turn to the le left and bring the left side down. And now your piece is correctly solved. We're gonna do it to every single corner piece.
now your cube is solved.